Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new Lightroom video. Alright, so today I'll be going through, you know, the steps of selecting the images that I've done uh, on a shoot with a client or even if I'm doing a personal shoot. Alright, so um, we're looking for things that, you know, doesn't complement the image at all. I only provide the minimum of 10 images per session or the maximum of 15 images so I will take like maybe about 200 images per session or sometime a hundred um, based on you know how comfortable I am with the images and then I come home and I put them in um, I load them in uh, Lightroom because I shoot in raw and um, I just go through and make selections for the images that I like and the ones that complements the model and stuff like that. So how I do it, I I load them in um, uh, uh, Lightroom, and then I just take a look at the images. Uh, these looks good. All right, I think I like. I don't like this one. So the images I don't like, I actually reject them by hitting X on the keyboard, and I reject it. If you wanna unreject the image you can press U and that will unflog the image so I press reject and then I just use my arrow um, sometimes when you press X um, I'm not sure sometimes mine works sometimes it doesn't sometimes when you press X it goes on to the other image and then um, you can whether select it or not um, and there sometimes you have to press um, shift uh, X in order for it to go on to the other image so like that for example see all right all right so I'm gonna go back now because I just um, <laughs> I just rejected some images that I that I may like so so I'm just going back and press U on the images all right good so let me go back and start from here all right this image looks good I like this one not sure if I like the placement of her hand but that's okay I may not edit that one um, this one looks good that one looks good it's like a duplicate so I'm gonna delete this one so X to reject it and um, this one looks good this one looks good this one looks good as well as well not sure if I like this one or this one uh, same thing but no I don't like it All right. All right. In the past, I usually allow my clients to make selections for the images. But what happens is that sometimes when I send them the images for selection, they are actually posting the other low res images. So I actually stop sending them the raw files. Um. You know, I, I, I want them to trust me and have me make selections for the images because. You know, I know what images works best for my portfolio and for what I would want them to, you know, show and what actually complements them. So, yeah. So, this one, no, I don't like it. Why I don't like this one? I think her head should be straight. Yeah. I was given directions, but, you know, I, when I'm doing my shoots, I tell her to do just about anything and then when I come home and I go through the photos, sometimes I can just use one of those images even though it might look funny alright so where did I reach this one no this one is not bad but no nah. no I don't like this one either nah, that one this one is good I like that I'm not sure if I like that one um nah nah yeah, this one is good. Uh, it's the same thing. Let me just reject that one. Reject that one. This one looks good. I like this, but you have to take a look at the model's face. Uh, oh, she did her own makeup, actually. And it was good. I don't think I like the face expression. Let me just get rid of that one. But this one looks good. I could actually crop this one. Um, actually, this one is blurry. This one is not in focus, so let me just that one. Alright, this one looks good. I like this one. 
Uh, yeah, that one is good. Let me go on. These are some walk-in shots. Normally, I choose to shoot in the mornings when we do not have a lot of sun or late evening when um, the sun is under the clouds or when the sun is not directly above the, the model. Or I always try to find a shaded area to shoot. Not sure if I like this one, but I'm going to keep it. This one looks okay. This one looks good. It was a little bit windy as well. Um, uh, this one looks okay, but what I don't like about it is the placement of her hand right here. So I'm not going to use it. That one, no. No. This one is nice. Um, nah. I think I like this one. And this one is good as well. This one is good. like it. She was actually walking towards me. I did a behind the scene uh, video as well. I'm going to edit that and show you guys those, uh, well, that video as well. All right, these are overexposed. Let me see if I can get it back a little bit. All right, auto works well. I think I like this one. Don't like this one. Nah. 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 Nope. Well, you know, this one is kind of okay. Let me just do auto and see what happens. This one looks okay. I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to press U to unflog it. This one, no. That one is okay. Alright, so this dog. This is a big dog. I don't really know what breed this dog is, but a bull moss bull mastiff i believe maybe he's mixed with bull mastiff i believe <laughs> but that dog is a big dog I'm, i mean i was so scared of that dog um when i went to the premises and there's a doverman there as well no not a doverman german shepherd is, is there as well i'm gonna delete these i'm gonna delete this one because our eyes are closed the dog is not even looking <laughs> um all right no let see that one, that one. So what happened is that I was just testing to see, you know, what it's like. Because if you see these shadows right here, I hate shadows. Like, I really hate shadows. The sun was coming from this direction between the trees. And, you know, I didn't like it. So I have her dressed back a little bit. See a lot of shadows here. I really hate shadows. I don't really like shadows at all. Especially shadows under the neck. But in some cases, I can actually fix it. But um, don't like that one. Don't like that one. Uh, nope. That one is okay. Don't like that one. This one is okay as well. That one is good. Nah. That one is okay. Nah. Nah. Nope. That one, I like it. This one is nice. I can crop it. Nah. Nope. This one, I love this one, actually. This one is good as well. No, I don't like this one. Sometimes you have to, you know, direct your models, tell them exactly how to pose. Sometimes they may set their head away that doesn't compliment them, doesn't compliment the picture, nothing at all. You have to fix them. I was shooting, um, there was like some flowers right here and I would I went behind the flowers and get some shots so stuff like these I hate them I hate stuff like these <laughs> but this is a good photo so I'm not going to delete it this one is good as well I was trying to have her jump but I changed my mind that one looks good that one is nice as well oh she's closing her eyes so I'm gonna delete those Ah, uh, that one is good yeah that one is okay i like it all right so i guess that's the end of it i did a show with this uh with her cousin as well so yeah um oh wait let me see i did a behind the scene for that one as well all right right so that's the process so after i rejected all those photos that i do not want I press control on the keyboard and then backspace 
and then it gives you the option to remove them from um, the remove them from Lightroom or you can uh, delete them from your disk drive from your hard drive I normally delete them because I have no use for them so I delete them so we're down to 100 photos and then I'm gonna select 10 to 50 images from this session and do some edits on them I'm not sure if I'll be doing a video editing any of these images but if you want me to do a video of editing these images, just let me know <laughs> alright guys so thank you for watching um, I hope you might learn something at least one thing and um, continue watching more videos coming soon bye bye